Ready, set, go. Jonathan has an edge. And Julia has an edge. And Evie yeah. has an edge. That's how it begins. Yeah, this is a thing. Yeah, speed puzzling. From there, the snaps come fast. They're all dumping out the pieces. They're trying to flip all of them face up um, as quickly as I can and start assembling as quickly as I can. On the UHART campus, these are the practice rounds for this, the Northeast Regional Speed Puzzling Championships. The Running Man, the Ninja Star. Competitors have arrived from across the country. So innies, outies. Organizer Jonathan Clough is here from Lubbock, Texas. So most puzzlers just do it casually. With speed puzzling, it adds that Adrenaline rush, you know, you're, you're timing yourself, so you're trying to set your own personal best. So there is a lot going on for sure. In jigsaw jargon, they're called dissectologists. It is cognitive combat, challenging contestants to interlock against the clock. I feel like I'm a type A person, and so it's like my type A hobby. Like, I can't puzzle in a relaxed kind of way. I like to do it in an achievement-oriented way. So what's a good time to finish, I don't know, 500-piece puzzle? So yeah. what are you looking for? A solo elite puzzler can finish a 500 almost every time in under an hour. Um, depending on the image type, uh, 45 minutes. I've seen some of my best puzzlers do it in close to 40. So what would take me a month is being done in 40 minutes-ish, yeah. Between solo tandem and teams, around 100 speed puzzlers are registered here. I think those of us who puzzle naturally fast have found our people in this community. And in the midst of controlled chaos, ultimately this comes down to finding that inner peace. So we're solving problems, right, in our brains, but we're also reaching out and finding new people who think nerdy like us. All of it's very fun. <laughs> in West Hartford. Jim Altman, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.